today's video, I'm tinkering with a few plants I've had back in that hot greenhouse back there uh, since, oh my goodness, early April, I think it is. I've got some tomatoes and peppers. I'm going to show you what I'm doing, uh, some fun things with, and also a few succulents I'm working with and some really cool things I just got done harvesting. So let's take a look. Here are some of the annuals like a succulent vine. I always forget the name of this one. It blooms a really pretty little pink bloom on it. And I keep this here in my garden and kind of propagate it and put it all over the place. And it lives year round in my dome actually. So I cut some of that cause I want to use some of that up here around the house. It's spelled M-E-Z-O-O -O, Mizu. And, it, and it's a trailing succulent variegated. It's really pretty. It's been around for a long time. I have it paired here with um, some managavi. Um, I'm also enjoying kind of the last of the daylilies. Um, some of these are still, they still have a lot of buds on them, like this one. I'm not sure what the name is. It's got a really pretty lime green middle. And the scent, it's really a nice light. Yeah, it's a real nice light floral. It's kind of a strong actually floral scent. Um, once you put your nose right up to it. Um, this is one of my yellow ones. The yellow ones are just amazing and very fragrant. This has more of a sweet, fruity scent to it, but I kind of like those two together. So I might end up moving the plants so they're closer together. And they actually bloom at the same time, so that's kind of neat. I noticed this one has some of the same colors, well, at least the green and in the sun, it actually looked more like some of the dark um, purple or mauve in that. Um, this is one of my new ones from Walter's Garden. And see, I'm always reusing my little, um, I'm trying to think what came in these trays, these flat trays. It might've been a meat, maybe. They're nice little trays. I can't remember, maybe the fruit. Oh, this might've been in the freezer department, like enchiladas or something. But I love recycling and just use them to carry things around. So. Here are some of the goodies I just picked. <laughs> These peppers are pretty cool. These are new. I've actually been experimenting with a lot of things. I left this plant in the greenhouse, um, which I've been watering just with my own well water. And um, this stuff has been enduring temperatures well in the 100 plus um, with the greenhouse full sun area and um it's loving it the plant is actually really pretty and doing well so i can't wait to break into one of these it's actually when i touched it and i just touched my skin on my face <laughs> it's got some it's got some heat to it um this now these are the figs these are so yummy these are my favorite i'm actually bringing them in the house to enjoy um this will let sit for a little bit because it's more it's getting soft but not quite there I think that one actually fell off, but here's one that's all ripe and ready to go. These are off my fig trees, or yeah, I've got two fig trees in the dome. And here's some of the pickings for today. Um, at the bottom, I actually had some pomegranate seeds from my dwarf pomegranate I'm gonna play with. I'll get to those later. Anyhow, I'm not sure which hydrangea, the names, you know, I'm horrible with names. I'll have to look this up. I actually got this hydrangea at a uh, garden event years ago, years ago. I think I brought these back um, in 2000, hmm, gosh, I wanna say like 10 or 11. And this is such a fragrant hydrangea. It really reminds me of the oak leaf with its scent and the blooms are just so pretty. It's still got a lot of white on it. I'm actually gonna take these in and use them in a bouquet and hopefully dry them. I picked some of my sunflowers that came up from seed. This is a cool plant that I've been enjoying for the past, gosh, maybe five years now. I just keep keeping the seed. It's like a tower of, of a tower of sunflowers. They started blooming in April because I started them in the greenhouse. And um, they actually bloomed once I put them outside in early May. We had a nice warm, uh, no frost in from May 1st to 15th, roughly. And um, it still just keeps putting on blooms. And I love that seed. This is just a hot pink flax, tall flax. 
and I thought these would all look pretty good together in a, a container today. I'm gonna put together in my house. This may seem embarrassing, but it's not embarrassing. I mean, I was embarrassed the other day when uh, my sister-in-law wanted to see my greenhouse and my brother took her out there and we walked in and I had a lot of plants that were left behind like this, you know? Oh, there's a grasshopper. We have so many grasshoppers this year. He probably jumped out of these plants because the greenhouse doesn't have a vent in it. So I do get little critters in there like grasshoppers, but they haven't been bothering these. Um, these were a bunch of seeds that I grew. These were my extras. The peppers are still doing amazing in there, but I went ahead and brought out the tomato, little miniature tomato plants um, that were left over just to see how they would respond to low light or not, no high light super hot conditions and low watering. Um, I actually put water in the bottom of the little trays and leave them in there for over a week in 100 degree weather. And it's kind of cool. Look, I mean, they're doing not so bad. Um, but what I'm gonna do actually is clean these up a bit and uh, maybe prune a few of them back in here. I've got a whole bucket here. And um, just baby them a little more and then we'll have tomatoes well into October. Um, because I'll end up moving these into the dome. Look, it even produced, it was producing in that condition. Um, there were some aphids on the leaves, like what's gonna happen when you leave tomatoes like that. But look, the tomatoes are still producing and growing, so pretty cool. I'm gonna actually get in here and just clean these off, prune these back, give it a little love, some watering, some sun out here in a little bit cooler. Um, we're in the mid, mid 80s and humid July, late July, almost August, whoops, uh, weather here in Ohio. And that will be just perfect for these miniatures. They'll love it. And uh, I'll keep you posted on that. So I just do fun things like that just to see what would happen. But I'll tell you the super troop troopers in those conditions are these peppers. I've got a bunch of hot pepper plants in there and they're doing great. These little pretty ones, these will turn purple and orange when the heat kicks in a little more in there as they grow and uh, I'll end up using these in containers this autumn so yeah there you have it thanks for checking out my video today you can find this and other creative living ideas on my website at brenhaas.com hope to see you there